So what have you been what have you been up to? You like, last night he had a stack. He uh, rolled out a stack well, they're, they're of about old computers these, about this tall. Yeah, a bunch of old you know Pentium and Pentium two computers. Basically, finally they've taken the two thirty three Pentiums off your desk and mine. The desk. old they've corporate computers are getting recycled. They're getting thrown away. But why throw them away? Because you could do something great with them, right? File servers, MP three really? servers, are you all that do kind that? of stuff. Actually, I've already have a couple of those set up. Wow. So what we're going to show you today is actually some I've talked about it before. Smooth Wall. Right. Smoothwall.org is the place to get it. It's a firewall. It's, you know, you want to protect your home system, your home network from the big bad outside world. Well, it's a firewall. It acts as a router. It sits down. It does DHCP. Basically, it's internet sharing and firewall protection and a web proxy and a very simple, not much, but a very simple VPN. Plus, it does other stuff. So it's basically like yeah. a Linksys router, but you don't have to buy it. You can build it out of your old junky PC. You have a couple of How much of a PC do I need in this? Well, thing? I've never run it on anything faster than a 230. The one that's intended to do now is a whopping 233 megahertz Pentium. Slow is fine. Slow is fine. But you do need two network interface cards. Do you need two NICs. Why is that? Well, here's the thing. You need two NICs if you have a cable or DSL modem that runs it using an Ethernet connection. So that goes into NICs. one of right. the network cards. If you have a, actually, what's really cool about this is the, the folks who are building this in England, they have a lot of USB-based DSL and cable modems. Mm. So it talks to a lot of different USB cable oh, DSL So if it were a late model computer that had USB, right. you would need two NICs. You'd need a USB and a NIC. Exactly. So you can do a USB and a NIC. You can do a modem and a NIC. If you if you have dial-ups, if you want to share a bunch of computers over a dial-up account, you can do that. If you have again, if you're connecting to a larger network over an Ethernet connection, you have two NICs. Actually, if you put a third NIC in, what you can do set up is one is the green area that's your safe, that's your interior, your home network. One is the red area that connects to your Ethernet connection. The third one is an orange area, which is the easiest DMZ I've ever configured. Yeah, because you just you, it's out there. Right. Runs on Linux or what? Yeah, it's essentially the, the current version 1.0, which they've, they've just, the, the GPL version, right? There's a company, then there's an open source project. Uh, the 1.0 version of it is running on Linux 2.2. The 2.0 beta, which I recommend people consider installing because it's got better uh, support for Ethernet cards. They're starting to add wireless to it, some other stuff to it. It's running on the 2.4 kernel, so it's using IP tables as a step up from IP chains right. as the firewall. Does it, does the, if you download the ISO, does it include the Linux as well, or do you have to install you Linux? You know it's Linux. Basically, it's all you download the 22 megabyte ISO, yeah. you burn it to a disk, you load it into the system. Understand, the only thing that's going to be on this system is your smooth wall. They do that for security, right? You, you're, you're not using this or anything else. It's going to wipe that machine. You load it onto there, and it basically it does everything. It boots up. You see the whole you know trace of scary Unix code coming up your screen as it configures everything, and then you basically hit enter, and you follow through a, a, a bunch of questions to install it. How big a hard drive do I need, or could I run it from a CD? Uh, you can't run it from a CD if you okay. want to do the web project. I would. I haven't. Let me rephrase it. I haven't figured out how to run it from a CD. Maybe some people you have. Probably need some temp file space. If you need like, like 500 megabytes, a gigabyte. It's small. A small yeah. hard drive will do. It's anything very small old, hard drive will do. Anything that was with your P233 exactly. will work. In fact. I'm Unless you want to have a huge web proxy, anything over a couple gigabytes is going to be wasted anyway. It's going to Very be empty space. Wow, this is great. Administration once it's set up, um, that's you actually from the, the web. Yeah, actually the admin pages are from the web. This is the the Smoothwall web page, smoothball.org. Once it's installed, you can log into it over the internet. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, basically log it from inside, and you can basically go through. Does it work as a VPN server? It has some limited, it has some very, very limited VPN in implementation in this version. The professional version of it that you pay for has a full VPN. That's version 2.0 should actually end up having a full VPN to like configure. That. that would be really, really That's sweet. something more than the Linksys will do. I mean, that's, that's a lot that's, more. That's a well, the web proxy is more than the right. Linksys will do. But when you say web proxy, it doesn't, it, it, it actually saves uh, a data files. It so it caches. Yeah, it's websites. essentially, it's, a, it's caching it locally right, on your system. Right. So it's more than just a proxy server. It's, right. a, it's local caching as well. That yeah. can speed up your browsing if many people in your network go to the same sites uh, yeah. considerably. So I actually turn around web proxy. I can turn that up to 500 megabytes and set oh, more direct cool. space for that. Free and available online at Free, smoothwall .org. online download. Took me all about a half an hour to configure it. The Are you going to use it, you think, instead of your uh, Linksys? On I'm actually, I have a D-Link router now that I'm going to uh -huh. replace with this. Good. So. Very cool. Yeah, very all right. More online, of course, at thescreensavers.com.